In this video, we will be discussing the navigation of and the functionality available within the Everlaw review window. The review window is the primary way to view and take action on individual documents in Everlaw. You can open the review window by clicking on a document row in a results table. Here, we will open a search from our homepage and select the first document to view. The review window will open in a separate window from the results table. If you have two monitors or enough screen real estate, you can keep both windows open side by side. One benefit of this is that as you're browsing through documents in the review window, your results table will follow your progress by highlighting the document you're viewing. For now, let's focus on the review window itself. The review window has several core features which can be accessed in the panel on the right-hand side. This panel is fully customizable, meaning tabs and tools can be added or removed in order to streamline your review progress. You can also resize the panel to appropriately fit your tools. To learn more about review window customization, please check out the video link in the description below. Here, we will focus on general orientation, explaining the features available to you through the review window and how to navigate documents. Let's start at the top right. Here, you can see the document that you're viewing, the page navigation within the current document, the name of the search that you're viewing the document from, and your current document within that search. To navigate between pages in the PDF or image view, you can scroll the document or use the page up and page down keys on your keyboard. You can also click and drag the document around the screen to explore. To navigate between documents, you can use the paddles located at the bottom left and right of the document viewing window. You can also use the keyboard shortcuts Shift Up and Shift Down. You can view keyboard shortcuts on this window by pressing Shift Slash or question mark on your keyboard. Below the navigation, you have tabs that let you select different available formats of the document to view. Currently, we're viewing the PDF or image format. You can view the text and native files if they are hosted on Everlaw. Different file types are best reviewed in different formats. For instance, we recommend that you review spreadsheets in the native view for the best experience. In the toolbar below that, you can find the various resizing and reorienting tools that you can use to get the document in the preferred size and orientation. Moving along the toolbar, you have various work product tools. To learn how to apply notes, highlights, and redactions to documents, or to use Story Builder, please watch some of our other videos. Next are your download, print, and share options. Finally, you can reset coding changes applied to the document on this viewing. Below the toolbar are your tab groups. The location and settings for each tab can be customized. We'll walk through an overview of the tabs here. You can expand any tab by clicking on the window icon at the top right of the tab group. Let's start with the Metadata tab. Here, you can see all the metadata associated with the document on Everlaw. By default, you will see the Everlaw metadata. Clicking on any value in the panel will open a search of documents with that value. Opening the drop-down icon in the Metadata tab, you can see the other associated metadata. You can learn more about viewing metadata in the help article in the video description. The Codes tab is where you will go to apply codes, binders, user fields, and ratings. You can also see the current status of the document. The Coding filter will allow you to search for and apply a particular code, note, or binder. Next, the Hit Highlights tab displays the content hits found within the document. There are three types of Hit Highlight searches, Custom Hits, Search Hits, and Persistent Hits. Custom Hits are highlights that users can add on the fly. When looking at a document, these hits will only appear for the user that created the hit. Search Hits are hits associated with a search that was used to retrieve the document. 
Finally, persistent hits are hits set up by project administrators. These hits will appear for all users across the project. You can use the Hit Highlighting panel to navigate through content hits. The panel also provides a quick way to redact content. Annotations will display all notes, highlights, and redactions that appear on the document. You can click on any page marker to jump directly to that annotation. You can also add a new document note from here. Coding presets are designed to help speed up your review work by allowing you to group labels together into a preset that can then be applied with a single mouse click or keystroke. Here, you can edit presets, see your existing presets, or share them with other users. The Language tab allows you to select text within the document to translate. The History tab will show all actions that have been taken on the document. The Predictive Coding tab allows you to improve your predictive coding models by indicating specific parts of your documents that are relevant. You must be in Text View to add weighted terms. With the Predictive Coding tab active, you can simply click and drag over important portions of text, select the model for which you'd like the weighted terms to apply, and then click away from the dialog box. You can learn more about using weighted terms by reading our predictive coding documentation. Because this is just an introductory video, we won't go into too much detail about the features that we covered. If you want more information about any of the features that you saw, please check out our other review window videos, or feel free to consult our help documentation at support.everlaw.com.